Beijing has condemned Liberal MP Andrew Hastie over an opinion piece drawing comparisons between the world's response to China with that of the rise of Nazi Germany at the time. The Prime Minister has been quick to distance the government from Hastie's views, but the Chinese embassy was just as quick to hit back at the comments. A former captain with Australia's elite special air service, Liberal MP Andrew Hastie has a keen interest in military history, which led him to pen an op-ed in nine newspapers, comparing Australia's ambivalence to China to the world's treatment on the rise of fascism in Germany. He wrote, if we don't understand the challenge ahead for our civil society in our parliaments, in our universities, then choices will be made for us. Our sovereignty, our freedoms will be diminished. Andrew is, of course, not a minister in the government, and Andrew's free to make comments that he wishes to make as a member of the backbench. But Andrew Hastie isn't just any backbencher. He also chairs the powerful parliamentary joint committee on security and intelligence. A spokesperson from the Chinese embassy to Australia made it clear China views Mr Hastie's comments as damaging. I'm not sure that provocative comments like that, um, uh, comparing particular regimes to, to the Nazi regime, are helpful in the context of trying to de-escalate tension in the Asia-Pacific. The peace has predictably enraged the Chinese, with relations already strained after Australia blocked the superpower from building our 5G network over security concerns. In a statement saying, we strongly deplore the Australian Federal MP Andrew Hastie's rhetoric on the China threat, which lays bare his Cold War mentality and ideological bias. We urge certain Australian politicians to take off their coloured lens and view China's development path in an objective and rational way. Scott Morrison distanced himself and the government from the comments. Uh, in relation to uh, that partnership we have with China, uh, we're very transparent about how we do that and, uh, and we seek to work closely with them. Scott Morrison will come face to face with Xi Jinping again at the APEC summit in Chile later this year. Annalise Nielsen, Sky News, Canberra.